we forget that's still a long field goal attempt. And so much pressure there at the end of the game. It's one of those situations, unfortunately, where you're either the hero or you're the GOAT. And what you also hope is that you've built up equity with your team by making a whole lot of big kicks before so that the occasional miss doesn't hurt you going forward. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.
It's the NFL on EA Sports as you get a look inside Gillette Stadium here in Foxborough. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with the New England Patriots. Here's the former Patriot All-Pro, Stephen Goskowski, to start us, and off we go from Foxborough. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successful. The young, incredible, honestly unforgettable. You were Joe like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. I just had to let you know. It's the young, incredible, honestly unforgettable. You were Joe like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. Yeah. I just had to let you know. Yeah. Uh, give me that work and I can sell it. Uh, I put it on the line like I ain't selfish now. Nah. The story flip if I let you tell it. Put my heart and soul in so you feel it. I ain't never faking, I'm the realest. Since Tupac in the prison, man, claiming his innocence. Currently, I'm the greatest rapper in a sense. But any currency, I'm still guaranteed my wins. This is coming from within, I stuff for real, I don't pretend. When the OG spilling knowledge, bet his best is soaking it. I'm a prophet to them scholars, got them chakras opening. Got them fixing up they actors, now they truly focused in. Uh. I'm seeing 2020 visions, yeah. daily manifesting on my premonitions. Yeah. Best to keep it neutral, got my own religion. Yeah. The brainwash, gotta make your own decision. Yeah. My word is James Bond, I stay on the mission. Coming for the top position, ain't no competition, man. Pull up in the top, it's missing, fuck the opposition, man. All that lane switching, this is what the game is to. It's the young new. Incredible, honestly unforgettable. You were Joe like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. I just had to let you know. It's the young, incredible, honestly unforgettable. You were Joe like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. I just had to let you know. Competition shouldn't take shots, take notes, please. Yeah, yeah, uh. Reporting live from the winner's side. Ready, try, keep a different vibe. Is you down the ride, never down the tie. You will never know. You ain't never try. Work it out. Hit the gym, hit the field. Get the win. Hey, yo, I need that. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard on the job. You can see that. On my head is real good. We don't need your feedback. They clear the way when my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase up the rings. We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Elliott now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Let's go. At their own 22-yard line. 
On first and ten, Prescott on the left side. Gallup's got it. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. On third and one, here's Prescott. Let's it fly deep for Cobb. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Cowboys. Randall Cobb, 69 yards. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 22. Stepping up, he'll try and run. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. First play of the drive, excellent run. Just sets up wash, rinse, repeat. Another first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's carry number one for Jordan Howard. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. A nice toss play there to the left. More than enough room to move the chains. And you know what I love about that play as a broadcaster? Seeing the big guys move. Seeing them get upfield and take out defenders. Know what I hated as a defensive back? What? That exact same <laughs> thing. Seeing those linemen coming downfield, getting ready to blot out the sun. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. He's checking. He's checking. He's checking. That's Aguilar with it on the jet sweep. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 47-yard line. Mike. Here we go, here we go. 20! Go, go! I got it, I got it. Check 31, check 31! Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Right side caught by Jackson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs them. Now they'll throw it. Wins. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 37. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. 
Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Throwing on second down. Wentz escaping the pressure right. The ball comes out. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. In their locker room, they've got a sign that says defense wins championships. And Charles, they pointed to that this week, said that has to be us looking good early. I like how you saw that because of the bold letters, right? You saw the emphasis that they place on that and what they believe in. And for them, it's every single snap. So it's not just a matter of getting to the quarterback and knocking the ball free. They're trying to read when that ball is going to come free. As soon as those hands separate to throw the ball, they want to be there and have a chance to knock it out. On second down, it's Elliott. Power running by Zeke. 15 yards on the play, first down. A gain of 15. First down, Dallas. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Prescott on first down. The tight end Jarwin with it out on the left side. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. They'll run with Elliott. Elliott a first down and more. And down right around the 37. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. First down, Dallas. Prescott looks to throw on first. His throw caught right around the six. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. One man in the backfield. That's Elliott on second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Extra point by Marr. Up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go... Be he's got a man complete! 30, 10, for touchdown, Philadelphia! Alshon Jeffrey, 78 yards, as they are now on the board here in the first half. Well, there's no doubt that this offense was in desperate need of a quick answer, and they got it. One play, and they're right back in this game. Because you got the sense, if they stalled out here, and then another score on the other side to make it a three-score game, could have gotten ugly. Elliott good on the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7.
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. First down, Prescott. Completes it right side to Cooper. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Fans, a reminder. I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime preview. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey. But, you know, writing down your ad. If you print, I'm going to read it. I'm Brandon Gordon. A first down carry by Elliott. The corner, Ronald Darby comes up to get him. On second and seven, Prescott, and an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He's got his target. It's Cobb. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and pressure from his right, and he goes down hard, flat on his back. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Hey, 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 hey. Four down, four down, four down. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the 8. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. This will be play number eight on the drive. It's third and goal. They are going to 52. 57 to Mike. 57 to Mike. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. Marr able to put this one through, and they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to seven. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Here we go, here we go. Mike, 55, right there in the middle, 50. Alpha, keep it up, keep it up. 
Check, 55 to Mike. Check, 55 to Mike. I don't even know why this team showed up. Mike 55, Mike 55. Hey, eat, eat, eat. eat. <laughs> you better be afraid of me. You better be afraid of me. The final shot before half for Wentz. Now he's flushed out right. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken about seven yards deep. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for him. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To throw, it's Wentz. It's complete on the bubble screen. That's Jackson. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people have to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice time. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. The tank, Demarcus Lawrence with a sack. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. 11 yards is the gain on the keeper there, but now it's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Snap coming at one. And now wins. This is caught by Jackson. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against it man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Let's go. Mike's by four, Mike's by four. Wentz now on first down. And down he goes. They bring down Wentz on the sack. Demarcus Lawrence picks up his second sack of the afternoon. After the sack on first down, Wentz, that's caught by Jackson. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 22-yard line. Okay, what can't Deshaun Jackson do? All right, we know about the catches. We just saw another one there. Also gets involved in the return game. And he can break big plays like that. We've seen him do it throughout his NFL career. We have. What are you, are you thinking of anything in particular? Yeah, I'm, I'm still remembering a certain Giants punter <laughs> not following orders. And Deshaun Jackson made that big-time return all the way 
way back for a game winner in that one. I still remember seeing the looks of disbelief on the Giants' sideline. They go with Howard again. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. A second down play results in a loss of two yards. Count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive. And normally you think that wears down a defense. In this case, looked like the offensive line let him down a little bit. Yeah, allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff him for a loss. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Right there, 54, right there, right there, 54 miles. Oh, here we go. Wentz off the fake handoff to Howard. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And, look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder... Are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? That's fielded in the end zone. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! At their own 20-point yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post, that's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that would help him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about that. Toe bash. <laughs> Super tough. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Again. And it's Elliott. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. On third down, Elliott. And an alley to run. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Well, they were just hoping that run would pick up the first. They got the whole enchilada. And I'm so used to teams on third down. Doesn't matter how far they need for a first down, throwing the ball. Instead, they run it. And as you said, pick up the first down, and then some, and then some. <laughs> in fact, everything. All the way for a touchdown. Terrific play. And this return nets pop. Five and up to the 27 yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Wentz now five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. They run with Howard. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Now wins. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Howard. Give him six on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations.
Arturo. Back man. Luini! Hey, check, check. Wait, they'll try to run for it with Howard. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. The job one to pick up the first down is complete. That was a big third down conversion, but they got to watch the clock. It's starting to become their enemy a bit here in a two-score game. Which means they have to pick up the pace, right? The tempo has to be up. And what they do is they tell the quarterback in his, in his helmet, hey, listen, when we pick up the first down here, tell everyone we're going. We're moving now to two-minute offensive phase, and everyone on the bench area, they're waving them along too. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Check 48 to Mike. Check 48 to Mike. Check Throwing now is Wentz. He'll let this go for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. Jordan Lewis right there on the coverage. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Begin, begin, begin. Mike's by four, Mike's by four, Mike's by four. I won't that. Wentz going to go on fourth down. And the law has it. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Kill, kill, kill. They start on the ground with Elliott. A gain of three, second down. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They go to Elliott again. They have three yards on first down, just one yard there. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And he is going to have the first down. And that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. Do my eyes deceive me or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. And opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially. So second and two on second down, Elliott. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. So they come up on second down and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. 
And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Now Prescott. He's going to float this one deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Ronald Darby that time, the one who got a hand in and knocked it free. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. He rifles one that's intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through and they closed them out with a big time performance down the stretch. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Philly. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you get a look inside Gillette Stadium here in Foxborough. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the New Orleans Saints. Steven Goskowski for the Patriots as we are off and running in Foxborough.
Ready? You're a lady? Check 52 is the money. All day, dog. They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. The tackle made by Alandon Roberts. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Second and five now. Breeze. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. Yeah, he gets this deep into Patriot territory. A big play. Breeze finding Thomas. 47 yards. First down, Saints. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a first carry for Latavius Murray. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Not quite the success they had last play. This one goes for three yards. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. Now Breeze lost the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. The 20. 10. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and a Patriot touchdown. Oh, backbreaker. That'll drive the coach, the offensive coordinator, just crazy. You get it all the way down there in the red zone, can't capitalize. Instead, they go the other way on the fumble return for a touchdown. How about the aggressiveness of the defense, though? They're not about to just fall on a fumble, are they? Scoop and score is their motto, and they just did it. Extra point, good by Gaskowski. And it's now a 7-0 game. They're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And they'll be looking to start fresh. Just a moment ago, they were backed up, coughed up the football, and then saw it go the other way for six points. I just wonder, partner, sometimes they put such an emphasis on things. And you know, in that situation, as they ran out there, they were told, take care of the football, don't cough it up. And sometimes that's the last thing you hear, and that's exactly what you do. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Breeze now. And this is a catch by Ted Ginn. Touchdown, New Orleans. Ted Ginn, 70 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Will Lutz on for the point after. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. 
from the gun. It's Brady. Gets it to Gordon. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man, because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. On the left side, a catch by White. Seven yards there and a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Shotgun now for Brady. To the right side, and he's got Edelman. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver. That makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, Something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open. That makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Antonio Brown, 54 yards, and the Patriots have taken the lead. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far? It's working pretty well from them. And here's the Ready? best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. And here's a throw that's taken in by the tight end, Cook. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. The Saints with the football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. To back good plays have them on the move on first down shotgun now for breeze in a heavy traffic and it's intercepted Devin McCourty puts it on and they will take over at the 29 yard line well, at some point during this broadcast, we had to bring up the Antonio Brown saga, and that <laughs> moment you? that moment is Did right you? now. I, I just I got to get your thoughts. I got to get you on the record. What do you think of all this? Well, when you go back to Oakland, and you know about my relationships with the head coach and the general I mean, manager there, three. but putting that aside, one play. never would have made the deal Come for on, him. I, I just <laughs> never saw him as a guy that was going to go from place to place and be the influence that you want in a locker room, and that proved to be true in Oakland. Now he gets a, a new start, kind of a, a fresh start, to put it mildly, in New England. And they seem to be all on board with that. But that has to be the one team that can take him because they... And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. The sack coming from defensive end Cameron Jordan. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. 56. Mike, 56. Right there, right there. 56. Reload. Both Brady gonna throw. And this one's incomplete. 
And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Hey, ball 66. Play action. Now it's Brady. He's going deep for Brown. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Antonio Brown with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Goskowski with the extra point. And it's now 21-7. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. First down. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. And an alley to run. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. First down, New Orleans. Back-to-back -back back good plays have them on the move on first down. 21, 21. Kamara. And some space here. Pass the 20. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara. 44 yards as his guys are back within a single score. Lots of look to add the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. That's fielded in the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. Big Sheldon Rankins there to bring him down. Second and six, just inside the 30. Here's Brady to throw. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first-half highlights and analysis from a back-and-forth first half that we've seen. On first and 10, here's Brady. Driven down. 
Marcus Davenport. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. He goes full extension, and he's got it. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 39. Brady now closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. On play action, now Brady. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. 20, 10, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. Lutz to try to add the PAT. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the scores. The kick's away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, just string them together. Could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. The tight end, Lacoste, here out on the right side. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. The final shot before half for Brady. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, the ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Lutz will look to add the extra point. And it's good. That makes it a 28-21 game.
So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they gave up the pick six, and now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now, as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be, <laughs> just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in, and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful, because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch all evidence to the contrary on that last possession, though. <laughs> and just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of two. Single, single, single slot, single slot. second and 13 at the 15-yard line. Mike, 55. Throwing again on second down. Brady on the crossing route. That's caught. Julian Edelman. And finding Edelman underneath, that's a recipe for success. Typical route for a good slot receiver. And Edelman's one of the best in the game. Knows how to go inside what one of my college coaches used to call the briar patch. Got to go in there where it's tough and make those tough catches. And now he can he do it. He can often run away from people after the catch. And they're going to try the screen. It's complete. Room here to run. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. Check mark, check mark. Watch the divide. I'll 50. 50, 72. Brady now on first down. He completes it right side to White. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now Brady again. He's got White here. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Here's Brady. Slant route caught by Edelman. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. The former seventh-round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback, and not just a productive one, a very good one. At Kent State, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who could make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert into being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, <laughs> oh boy, it's been good. That's going to set him back five yards. Let's go. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Following the penalty, Michelle. Give him a couple on the run there. It'll be second and 13. Now on second and 13. Brady. And he's taken down. Here by the Saints. Alex Anzalone charging hard from that linebacker spot, and he drops him for a loss of 11. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. Brady to Michelle on the screen. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Back now in Foxborough. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter.
One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Brady going to go on fourth down. And that is incomplete. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Saints will have the football back. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Yeah, he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. At this stage of the game, with the score where it is, the key here is to hand bounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do, late game situations, kicking situations, it doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up in that meeting, then you practice it, they've got to be happy to see it executed, being able to stay in bounds and work the clock. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Let's go. It's a gain of six. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. On the counter, here's Kamara. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. On second down, Kamara. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. situation the defender is making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football so i don't see anything to warrant to the flag no i'm with you there was contact but i'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket and he has got it from 55 yards away that was never in doubt so, barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done, but, boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. That's fielded in the end zone. And he is out of bounds here on the return. Let's go! Wait, 
The Pats at the line, ready to go. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. Short play like that in this situation this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. And I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. Brady now to throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Marcus Davenport in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. And he goes down. It's a sack. Since I blew, they all on my Hey, Ain't back then, didn't know I exist. Don't touch my cup, you know how I sip. Hey, got choked, long, that I made her when I shot out my whip. Hey, spent my 10 on my fit. Act slick, then hit with the Back then, you should out the zip. Blow out the back, then dip. Got a whole hole for the all on the ship. All these four things pull out the bill. Suck to up, baby, pour out the milk. Say, you know how I drip. Crush. From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up with the Baltimore Ravens. This is taken at the three. Bad return here. He gets it out to the 25 yard line. Here we go. 
And the former Heisman winner, this is Mark Ingram. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll bring up a second and 13. there on the stop. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Three and out, a real danger here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 12. Jackson from the shotgun. He's going to air one out. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Well, not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon, intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to wipe things away pretty easily and move on. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds, because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? It's a first down on a gain of 10. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Second and ten. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. That doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. on third and he's got his receiver that's Sammy Watkins Mahomes to the former Ram Sammy Watkins for the Kansas City first on first down Mahomes they're going deep for Hill this is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown Tyreek Hill 37 yards and they are able to strike first here on their opening drive
Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And that'll set him back five. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7 0 to score as they start first and 10. And he's taken down. A Chiefs sack. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Looking deep downfield. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way down to the 37. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 47 yards. Throwing now Jackson on first down. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Different story this time around. We had that huge gain, followed by a sizable loss here. To try again after the sack. Jackson, it's caught by Mark Ingram. And now running right through it. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. This is Ingram on first and 10. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. On second down, Ingram. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. Six yards to pick up and that's a first down. They'll run here with Ingram. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown run as they are now on the board here in the first half. And Charles, when you catch that toss going right or left, really, but right in this instance, do you go straight for the pylon? Is that where you're going? Well, typically you want to try and maneuver people a little bit so you have some space to get to the pylon. So I want to make sure I try and move them a little bit to the inside, and in this case to the left, so I can get to the right side and get to that pylon and wink at it as I go by. Tucker with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? 
I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. This one complete to Miko Hardman. 15 yards on the play, first down. 15, 15. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Give him nine there on the first down completion. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 yards there and a first down. McCoy got off to a good start in week one, Charles. Tim carries 81 yards. He had a really nice 31-yard carry. Showed a lot of burst. A lot of people thought he'd be more of a pass catcher in Kansas City, and that will still develop because he does that very well. But as you mentioned, he's still got a burst, doesn't he? He can still run the football. 10 carries, 81 yards. He might go into a timeshare with Damian Williams running the football, and that'll just make the Chiefs that much tougher. But he still has it. The guy they call Shady... He's excited about this challenge in Kansas City and thinks that he can help him get to the Super Bowl. Mahomes now on first down. And oh, look at that, a diving catch. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. Well, partner, when you ask anyone other than your QB to throw the ball, you must have a lot of confidence or you think you're really going to fake them out, and it looks like they did exactly that. Yeah, going deep in the playbook and a great grab on the other end. Mahomes now 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 23 yards, the final tally. They run from the pistol with Ingram. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Looking to throw on second down. Jackson 
This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. Jackson on first down. Over the middle here to Brown. And down inside the 15 he goes. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. Flushed out right. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Mark Ingram, he scored on the ground and through the air as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. To the right side, it's Kelsey. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. Seven yards there and a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and ten. And again, it's Mahomes. Forced out to his left. And a diving grab. I think he got that. Yes. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL. And it's a presentation of EA Sports. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum. Sammy Watkins, he's going to go. The 20. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Sammy Watkins, an 80-yard touchdown as his guys are able to regain the lead.
Butker now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. And the Chiefs are going to get him. The sack comes from Anthony Hitchens. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. They'll fake the give to Ingram. Now Jackson. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Ron Thornhill. And they will set up shot in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. Well, it's third and long, and you've got a few different ways to play it offensively. But this is not the type of offense that's going to wave the white flag. They're going to keep chucking it. And this time, it results in an interception. Check 52. They'll try and get the running game going with McCoy. Pass it with Sean McCoy up to the races. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. With Sean McCoy, 42 yards. And thanks to the interception, the Chiefs offense cashes in with six. Extra point up and through. And a lead now up to 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. That's caught left side by the tight end, Boyle. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, it's Jackson. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. The coverage good that time by Kendall Fuller. Well, normally you and I would have gone through our season predictions before week one, but Hurricane Dorian prevented us from doing that last week. So let's go ahead and hear them. your division winners and then the Super Bowl. Okay, we'll start in the AFC. New England in the east. Bold. Tennessee in the south. Pittsburgh in the north and Kansas City out west. Okay, so I'm with you on three of the four, but I'm going to go with a way too strong week one reaction and give Baltimore the edge in the north. Oh, I like that. Okay. All right, let's go NFC. All right. I'm going Philadelphia in the east, New Orleans in the south, Minnesota in... And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Juan Thornhill. Not the best of plays there as a quarterback. You're right-handed, rolling left, trying to throw it that far downfield. I remember a coach of mine saying, son, that's the equivalent of trying to get the car keys out of your pocket with your opposite hand while you're trying to run. You just can't do it. Okay. 
Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Now Mahomes. Buying time to his left. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. 16 yards, a first down. Now a first down carry here for McCoy. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now from just shy of midfield Mahomes steps away to his left and he'll go out of bounds right around the 40 nine yards the pick up there and it's a first down that's something we have not seen him do to this point, and that's take the ball, tuck it, and run. Exactly right. His first carry of the game, I guess he picked a good time to do it. He certainly did. Not only did he have the element of surprise, he's making sure he's judicious in taking off. Mahomes now on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. To throw again on second down, Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 19. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. On first down, McCoy. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Mahomes complete to his tight end. It's Kelsey. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Now McCoy. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. And he lost six there on the first down play. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. But in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Mahomes now to throw. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Off the edge, the sack by Reggie Raglan. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Throwing is Jackson. And he's going to go down again. Chris Jones getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. 
So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense that's well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. 12 yards on the return that time. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle with the Seattle Seahawks. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. No gain on the play there. Second down. Second and 10 at the 31 yard line. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and 10. To throw is Wilson. Flush to his right. That's complete into the hands of Carson. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Check, check. Walk 54. Walk 54. I'm coming. I'm coming. They'll run on first down. Carson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. Now Wilson on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Flying in to blow that play up, Alex Okafor. 
Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Another try after the first down sack. Wilson, and that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. Third and long, it's Wilson escaping the pressure right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. Able to find a seam for 14 yards, but still now facing a fourth down after the scramble. And they had an extra defensive back on the field on that play, and the coverage was excellent. He tried to pull it down and run for it, but they rallied to him and kept him short of a first down. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Flushed out right. He can run for it, and he will. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho-hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. Rolling to his right. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Here's Rashad Penny, first carry for the former San Diego State Aztec. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Penny will try to punch it in. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. That almost felt like the defense said, he is not getting in. What a play. Not only stopping him at the line, but pushing him back a yard as well. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. Here's Wilson to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. I will see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches that can explode. Now Wilson. The quick slant caught, and he is in for the Seattle touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab, and the Seahawks take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Extra point up and through by Myers, and that makes the score 7-0. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Hey, Sunday, on Sunday, on Sunday, on Sunday. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Caught out left side by Robinson. 
And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. From the shotgun, it's a give to the core. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Jadavian Clowney showing the explosiveness on the sack. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. Quarterback was hit. Now here's Mahomes. Incomplete. Both players were there offensively and defensively, but it falls incomplete. They went with the dive look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. Here we go, fourth down, Mahomes. He'll rifle this one deep right side. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Tedrick Thompson picks it. And a great return as he's up close to the 40-yard line. Nicole Hardman, the intended target. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size and these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Anthony Hitchens came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando or Jonathan Coachman. We'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Throwing on third and long. Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. It's a big play there for Seattle. 44 yards. I can hear the film session right now. I can hear the coach saying to his team, guys, how does a guy that big get that open? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Imagine him as a kid just trying to play hide and seek. No chance. No chance. He no goes chance. to hide behind the skinny tree. You see the front, the back, the top. Good luck. Yeah, you see him. You don't see the tree. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, forthcoming. The excellent play last time is followed by a much more routine gain of three. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Wilson. He gets it to his running back, Rashad Penny. Four yards on the pickup, and they're going to have a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Focus, defense, focus. Switch it, switch it. From the gun on third down, Wilson. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Let's go, 
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Now the question, what do you do here? Time not really an issue. You got over a minute, but you figure from this spot you'd need a good 50, 60 yards to even consider a field goal try. Yeah, so there's optimism there, but there's also a little bit of restraint, right? You got to make sure you don't take a sack here, don't end up in the end zone, ball gets stripped. You could give up two points in that occasion, or maybe even six if you can't get on it and recover it yourself. So make sure you protect the guy throwing the football if indeed that's the plan of attack. On first down, Mahomes. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. Going deep here for Watkins. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Well, you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try to move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Accelerating, and off he goes. 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Chris Carson as the first half is winding down. And the Seahawks get the quick strike touchdown. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Uh, we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only going to fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not going to be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. Being chased out left. Able to locate his running back. Open downfield. And it'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. 33 yards that time. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. And Butker able to put this one through. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned, because some teams script to start ahead. And got his man complete! 36 yards on the play. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. McCoy and that play goes nowhere taken down losing yardage at the 50 right at midfield that'll set them back with a loss of three on the play and that'll make this a second and 13 and he will be hit from behind and run over wow the 330 pounder Al Woods brings the boom on the sack after the sack things get a little tougher here third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs on third and long, it's Mahomes. Room to run past midfield. Wide open. 
open receiver complete. They get 13, but it's not nearly enough. And it'll be fourth down. Mahomes throwing on fourth. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. 21 yards there. A big play on fourth down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Dancing to his left. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles. So just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. They get six here after the incompletion. And it'll leave them with a third and four. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now McCoy. McCoy's got the first down and more. They get the first. The decision to run on third and medium winds up being a good one. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. Yeah, some nice running right there. That's what got them the first down. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Al Woods able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. On second and goal, Mahomes. Well, there's still time to... This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown there as his guys are back within a single score. Throwing now is Mahomes. And he will get into the end zone to cut the lead a little bit further. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time, John. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this one. And he's taken down, a cheap sack. Frank Clark fighting his way home to get the sack. Well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively. Pressure coming off that right side from the DM. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. Here's Wilson throwing on third and long, eluding the pressure right. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Throwing back across his body. Picked off near the 44. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Let him know. Let him know. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. That's out to Hill, right side complete. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Mahomes now on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Al Woods able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Flush to his right. To the right side, it's Kelsey. They'll wind up getting 10 back there as it'll leave him with a third and five. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you've got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Mahomes going to throw. 
Escaping the pressure right. He may try it. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Extra point splits the uprights. And that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary it really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. Flushed out right. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Wilson, after the play fake to Carson. He's got this one complete to John Ursua. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. First time they've looked his way in this game, he comes through picking up the first. On first down. It's Carson. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And he's got some space here. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Chris Carson with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks are going to retake the lead. Myers connects on the PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you score once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. No matter what the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Mahomes now on first down. Seahawk defense gets to him and they bring him down. Jadavian Clowney in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. The Chiefs on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third down and 12. Back to throw. He is going to find Hill here. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Mahomes now 13 out of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Throw left side taken in by Hill. 
A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. They'll run on first down. McCoy. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. They'll go again to McCoy. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 11 yards there.